Our body language conveys much of our message. As a parent, you know words can leave your mouth, but your eyes and your mouth or your body convey a different message. You also know the same is true for your kids. When apologizing to their sibling, words leave their mouths and a hug may be given, but it's pretty obvious by their demeanor, they don't really mean those words coming out of their mouths. Our body language and posture as parents is important. Welcome to another episode of Fridays Are For Families, where we seek to empower and equip you to grow as a disciple and disciple maker of Jesus Christ. Last week, we read a quote from Engaging Your Teen's World. Today, we're going to read a, another one. It's going to be a little bit longer, but it specifically talks about our posture as parents. The authors write, This growing fear about kids exiting the Christian faith is real. Every parent feels fear, but sometimes it spikes. The fear and sense of being overwhelmed is real. We won't pretend that the world is perfect and there's nothing to fear. But how are you going to react to that fear? People have two basic and very different reactions to fear, fight or flight. Let's see how they manifest in parenting. The fight posture leads parents to hunker down with high-powered artillery aimed at the teen years. You will overprotect and declare war against anything that could possibly harm or negatively influence your kid. Sometimes you and they will forget that you're trying to protect them from something, and instead of fighting for your kid, you will be fighting with your kid. You won't give them the responsibility they need to grow in maturity. The flight posture leads you to run. You'll give up on connecting with your teen's world and you'll miss their heart in the meantime. It's much easier to disengage from their fast and overwhelming culture. This will certainly create less friction at home. But this road leads to the same place as the fight posture, disengagement. The good news is there's a third option. Third way parents choose to engage with their teen's world and the culture they're surrounded with so they can connect with their heart. We want to be the first to welcome you to the messy middle. Parenting is tough. There's always going to be something new. There's always going to be something you struggle with, something you've never heard of, new territory. It's hard to feel behind and out of control. Perhaps you feel helpless as a parent, misunderstood, ill-equipped, or unprepared. But if you're a parent, God has shaped the soul that has been birthed or adopted into your family. Third way parents have a growth mindset. They keep learning and they adapt. Now, as I mentioned, that's a long quote, but I hope it encourages you. There are three postures here as parents, the fight, the flight, or the engaged. Our hope and our prayer is that you would engage your kid's world. Find out what makes them tick, what causes them to be worried or anxious, what brings them hope and joy and, and why. Ask questions and be curious. Always be learning and growing. Thank you for your time. I'm thankful that you're choosing to spend a few precious minutes with us as we seek to empower and equip you, but also encourage you as parents. We'll see you next week.